What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? I'm on Goddess 2211. I just wanted to tap in with my divine feminines and see what's going on. But first, I would like to say thank you for the continued support, the likes, the comments, um, the views. Thank you, guys. If you have subscribed, I appreciate the support. Um, and I love you for supporting me. Um, I, would, I really appreciate if you guys continue to thumbs up the videos for your girl, please. And that helps me to pick up on you guys' energy better as well. It's like an energetic donation or connection. You feel me? So I already prayed, y'all. We're just going to get into it. See what's going on with the Divine Feminine. So, Yahweh, Father God, Yahshua, Ra, the Most High God, the Creator, God of all gods, King of all kings. Lord of our lords, what messages do you have for us today? I ask that you speak to me, see through me, hear through me, Father God. Move through me, work through me, Lord God. Manifest through me. Help me to understand the messages in clarity and accuracy, Father God. Holy ancestors, holy ancient ancestors of the pierced and highest holy white light. I ask that you come down and surround and protect me as well as this reading. Archangel Michael. I ask that you come down and protect me as well as the collective in this reading as well as they may listen and it resonates to them in some way, shape, or form. Archangel Gabriel, Henny or Raphael, Metatron. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Send the Master Spirit Gods. Holy Angels and Holy Fairies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. At the bottom we have Be, be Magnetized. So I feel like you guys are letting off some type of magnetic energy, like um, uh, magnetizing aura, like your light is shining, like you're attracting what you want because you are being what you would like to attract is what I'm seeing here. If y'all hear me sucking a little bit, I'm... I have a cough drop in my mouth, but I feel like you guys are leveling up. I feel like you guys are um, in a state of purity and in a state of happiness and in the pursuit of your continued happiness and aligning with your purpose and finding joy in that, finding the blessings and the lessons that you have had to learn within your life. And now you're understanding the law of attraction, universal laws, and I'm also hearing universal time. So some of you guys could have um, shared many lifetimes here on earth, on the 3D here, in the physical. I also heard time travel. So some of you guys could um, astral project, is what I'm hearing. But you guys are, are letting off such a beautiful light. You're shining, okay? I feel like this is your time to shine. You're attracting, okay? You're a magnet. People are attracted to you. Okay, the my feminists. All right, we got to look in the mirror. So I feel like you guys are definitely self-reflecting, okay? And then we have give birth, give birth. So I feel like you guys have done so much so reflecting that you guys have understood the assignment. Now you are about to give birth to a new life, okay? Because you did the spiritual work. You self-reflect. You went into hermit mode. You went into solitude. You separated yourself. You isolated yourself. You did that soul searching, okay? And you, instead of pro projecting your, your pain and your insecurities or your lack of whatever it is that you may have been feeling in your life at the time you went within which was, which was hard work because that that means you had to take accountability for your actions and your choices in your life that you you know you chose to act on so instead of blaming others and projecting all uh all of the negative attributes of you onto other people you went within then you realized who you were with the give birth here. And now you're about to give birth to a new you. You you have birthed out a new you. Some of you could also be 
expecting. And congratulations to you if that is the case. So some of you could be literally birthing a new life, a, a brand new life, a pure soul or spirit into the world. Others for you, you're birthing out a new you. This is the birth of a new you. This is the birth of a new life. This is the beginning of a new chapter in your life, okay? So some of you are are, are heavily manifesting and your, your prayers and your requests have been heard by the universe and you're getting ready to give birth to this new project, this this new idea, this new you, okay? this I feel like you've upgraded in, in the spiritual realm. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, collaborate. So overall energy is collaborate here and I'm getting this is co-creating with the universe, okay? Look how they're, they're hands, okay? And, and that connection, you see how they are all connected as one? Three connections, one source. I feel like you have co-created with your divine um, team, with your spiritual guides, your ancestors, you know, your uh, um, your lineage. Like you have made the connection. You have brought everything together and now you're fully connected. It's like you had that direct line and direct like source or it's like an energetic power feel like you just have that one connection it's, it's so strong with the most high with the universe like you're connected period period you're just connected you you have a high rank in the spiritual realm you are well respected you are definitely loved and the uh, the most high is proud of you that's why they're granting you granting you this um this initiation granting you these spiritual gifts granting you the connection granting you the keys granting you the knowledge and the wisdom and the clarity and the insight and you have brought all this together and you are like a powerhouse you're like a a, a powerful source of energy like you're a divine being you leveled up like beyond I don't even think you understand how much you have leveled up in the process of leveling up or you're going to level up to because we're all on different paths so this could be happening this could already have happened and this could be in the process of happening but either way you're co-creating and you're building something great you have a direct connection to the higher powers period yeah you had to do, you had to go through a lot of lessons though. Look at all those three women. You went through a lot of changes and transformations, Dewan Feminine, to get where you are. And you brought them all together. You've healed yourself. You've become whole. You become the empress. And now you're connected to the higher powers, to the universe, to the divine, to the most high God. You have that connection. So that's what I'm seeing from there. So we're going to go ahead and get some tarot for it, Divine Feminines. And when I was getting prepared, the Ten of Cups was at the bottom of the deck. So, like I said, this, this happiness that you have um, inherited now. It's like this abundance that you have inherited now is going to bring you the happiness that, that you desire for a long time. So, that's that. You're about to reap the, the, the rewards of your hard work, okay? Period. It wasn't easy, and it seemed like forever, but that was the test. Are you going to stay down till you come up? Are you going to continue to have faith in, in the divine, in your spiritual team, and the most high God to pull you through whatever it is that you're lacking or going through or struggling with at that moment in time? Ten of Cups. Are you going to stay down till you come up? Ten of Cups. Some divine feminists have. And if you haven't, you need to. If you haven't started the process, you need to. But your happiness is definitely here. Your happiness is definitely on the way. This is happy family life. Yeah. Page of Wands. This is definitely coming to you. Period. You're getting ready to explore a new life. Give birth with the Ten of Cups here. You're about to start a beautiful family. Or just have a very beautiful life. Okay? And it's time. It's time for this new door to open. Okay? For this good news to come to you. 
these results, the manifestations. You are about to start to see doors open up with the page of wands here. Okay? Yeah, nine of pentacles. What did I say? You're about to explore a new life. You're already abundant. Okay, but now you're about to get that ten of cups, that happy life, happy family. You know, just overall in general. And it doesn't even have to be a love relationship. This could just be you taking care of the ones, you know, you hold close, near and dear to you. But right now you are here working. Okay, staying focused, abundant, independent, stable. And you can nurture yourself. Period. You're one step away from the empress. Divine feminine. And you're definitely being divinely guided with that bird up there. You get messages from, from Holy Spirit, from the universe, from the divine. You're connected, period. And you're fruitful. You're a fruitful being, whether you be single or in a relationship. Yeah, period. You're a fruitful being. Like you have an unlimit, unlimited amount of, 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 of power and magic. I mean, you're just a very... Um, powerful divine being, just period. It's like you're unmatched, you know. And you've been, but you've been through a lot, is what I'm what I'm seeing here. Like it's so beautiful. I mean, I I know, yeah. This hasn't been easy for the divine feminines I'm picking up on, but baby, when I say your blessings are on the way, they are on the way because you did the work and you, and you did little to no complaining, and that's why the universe is getting ready to bless you. Okay, period. Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael. Holy ancestors, holy ancestors. Look, nine of pentacles. Four of wands. What did I say? Single, abundant, and stable. Okay? Have a solid foundation with the four of wands. You have come into union with self, with your higher self. Okay, you have learned to love yourself unconditionally. You learned to forgive yourself, 12-12. You learn, you learn how to not go so hard on yourself. Okay? And you brought that stability and that balance to your life. This celebration, this union with self, bringing in union with the soulmate, or just bringing in union to your dreams, goals, and aspirations. Attaining everything you set out to do with the four of wands here. All while doing it what? Solo dolo. You're independent. <laughs> I mean, you just that. And you and you build everything that you have or everything that you're going to have on solid ground, solid foundation. Okay? You are a celebrated individual. People see your manifest manifestations come too. Of course, they're going to be haters, but they're also going to be celebrators. Period. Congratulators. And that's what you're getting ready to do. Be congratulated for your hard work and your hard efforts. All while doing it by your goddamn self. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, not a pinnacles. Took you a long time. You've been through some shit. I'm telling you, people tried to delay you. Stagnate you. Put burdens on you. You know, you questioned yourself a lot. You delayed yourself more than you should have, but you're here now. So that's all that matters. Look, you went you went through that transformation. Period. Now, yeah. Tina Snow, Megan the Stallion. You out here, you did it all by your damn self. Didn't let nobody stop you from accomplishing what it was you set out to do. No matter how big or how small, it don't matter. Keep hoes out of my face. You, you were by your damn self. I'm telling you, you built this on your own. This is about. This is a legacy, I see. And if you don't see it now, begin to visualize that. Because as long as you put in the work and you stay connected to source and you stay grounded and balanced and, and be obedient, to your spiritual guidance, you will attain this four of wands, this legacy, this celebration, this union, whatever it may be. And it's going to be built on solid, firm foundation, unshakable, unmovable, steadfast.
Period. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Holy ancestors? Okay. <laughs> High priestess. <laughs> as long as you stay obedient and stay connected to the higher powers, to the divine, to the universe, and obeying the universal law. Baby, you can't lose. You got the keys. High priest is here. You are a very high-ranking spiritual being. Like I said, you're divine. You hold the keys. All you, um, uh, what is that scripture? Whatever you think shall be. So if you think low of yourself, that's what you're gonna. That's what you're gonna exude. That's what's gonna come out. That's what you're gonna believe. But if you think highly of yourself. And you speak life into yourself and positive affirmations over yourself and your life. That's what you'll get. That's what you'll see. That's what you'll be. That's what you'll think. So you have to understand the mind. You have to pay attention to how you think and what you think. Because what you think manifests into your reality. Whether you're trying to do it or not. As long as you believe those negative thoughts, that's what's going to manifest into your life, negativity. But if you think positive over your life and into your life, blessings over your life and into your life, and you believe it and you think that, it, it shall be. That's what's going to manifest into your reality. And I feel like Divine Feminist, you have grasped that aspect totally. And that's why you're about to give birth to a new life because you got the keys now. You're about to have doors opening up that you've never seen before. And it's going to be beautiful. What did I say? Y'all moving forward. Okay. Moving forward. To higher heights. Okay. Some of y'all could be getting ready to relocate. Some of y'all could be getting ready to move. And some of y'all. some Your divine masculine. Or your, soul, your soulmate. Your twin flame. Could be coming towards you. He made me great. Holy Spirit. He made me great. So let me be great. He made me great. So let me be great. Let me be successful. Let me be triumphant. And that's why the universe is blessing you with the success coming your way. You're going to be triumphant. You have been triumphant through the battles. This song is called My Life by the Walls Group. And it's about... Going under judgment, okay? People telling you what you should do with your life, how you should live your life, you know, having so much to say about what you do, but not knowing, you know, you have to be obedient to the most high God despite what everybody says or thinks about how you live your life. You didn't lay down your life for me. You ain't sacrificed nothing for me. So why would I listen to you tell me about how I should live my life when you haven't even walked in my shoes, Divine Feminine? Be triumphant. Be great. Don't let nobody stop you. Because you got the divine by your side. That's that's your spiritual um uh backup. That's your army right there. Breaking those doors open, breaking those chains, moving through those generational generational curses, the black magic, the witchcraft that has been thrown your way. That's you being triumphant still. So continue to believe in yourself. Continue to have confidence in, to, in yourself. And continue to stay strong in your spirituality with the high priestess. Because you're connected. You have the keys. Why everybody else says stagnant and delayed. You moving forward. Period. Two of Pentacles. Yeah. Releasing the baggage. No longer holding on to uh, things that don't serve you. Uh, or making um, things um, that... That shouldn't be, or making distractions a priority that shouldn't be with that two of pentacles. Thank you, Father God, for helping me clear that up. Releasing the unwanted, releasing the, the unnecessary. That's what you're doing, Divine Feminine. You're no longer uh, making yourself an option, putting people, places, and things before you, making yourself last. And that's what people don't want to lose. How you nurture and take care of the ones that you love and you call your friends and your family. 
or your lover. Yeah. And it's like, no, this time I'm I'm doing me. I got to go after what I want. I got to release the baggage. I got to release the unnecessary weight. It's holding me down. 2011. It's holding me down. I got to let it go. I got to release it. So that's what you divine feminines are doing. Yes, I got to release it with the full card. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I have to release it. It can't stay with me. No matter how much it hurts to let that person, to let that thing, let that place go. The codependency, no matter how much it hurts, I got to let it go. I have to take a leap of faith on myself. Make myself a priority. Do what makes me happy. Release the hurt, the pain, the trauma. And heal and become whole in myself. Okay, Divine Feminine? Yes. Period. Some of you all could be using crystals. There's a crystal in her hand. Looks like purple amethyst. Some of you all could be connecting the crystals now. Healing. Like I said, taking a leap on. Putting yourself first. Healing yourself. Taking time to heal and nurture yourself first. I feel like you divine feminines that, I, that I'm picking up on, you guys have healed a lot of people. You have taken away and sacrificed for a lot of people and, and, and didn't get it in return. Caused some hurt, some pain, but it was meant for you to go through this. This was a test. This was like your initiation. What are you going to do with your spiritual gifts? Are you going to continue to allow people to take advantage and not pour into you as you pour into them and speak life into them and heal them while they suck you dry? Or are you going to take your gifts, heal yourself, nurture yourself, and use your gifts to help you and the, pe or, and the people who really need it? Yeah. Some of y'all could be on a platform. Or just be, you know, on social media. But you have people looking at you now. People wondering how you did what you did and how you came up, how you came up. Period. Okay, Holy Spirit, can I get one more card to close? Look, Knight of Cups. Yep. You got a love offer coming in. 22-22, I just saw. But not not just the love offer either, though. You have offers. This is this is This is an introduction to a new life is what I'm seeing with the Knight of Cups. I feel like the universe is offering you this blessing, this new opportunity, this new door, new gifts, new perspectives, elevation, spiritual ascensions, you know, with the chariot card here. And you love comes in that. So, I mean, if it's love that you want, then it's love. Put the energy where it goes. You know your story. But this is definitely, I feel like, love from the universe. The universe is loving on you now with the Knight of Cups. You, you are love. So you're attracting love. You have found self-love. You have healed yourself. You have found self-confidence. You have grounded yourself. You, you have focused your, your, your uh, sights. You have focused your intentions. Now you know what you want out of life. And the universe is granting you this. We're bringing you this gift now. <laughs> okay, Demond Feminine. Look, they like, you did so good. I'm getting teary eyed. Y'all ain't gonna believe what's at the bottom of the deck. The food card. <laughs> I'm getting so choked up right now. Wait a minute. Uh, had to grab my arm, getting chills on my right arm. But divine feminist, you deserve this. Yes. You taking the leap of faith with the universe and the wheel is right behind that. Yeah. Taking a leap of faith with the universe. This is it. This is your moment. This is your moment, Devon Feminine. And it was fated to happen like this. Like this is you're getting ready to step in uh, into a new chapter, a new life, a new perspective, a new everything, everything new, period. Divine feminine. So y'all been through a whole lot. <laughs> Nobody would understand your story like you do. I put it like that. So we're gonna get some um ancestor oracles here, and we're gonna close it out. But, um, yeah, Devon Feminine, you deserve this opportunity. 
It's like I'll keep wanting to cry. My, my right arms keep getting chilled. <laughs> and it's just like you deserve all the blessings coming to you. Like you have stayed down even in your darkest of darkest moments. And when I say it ain't easy, it, it, it wasn't easy. It was not easy. You know, it was not easy. And so people look at, you know, how you wear your pain and they misjudge you. <laughs> That's what it is. <sighs> mm. Oh my goodness. That's why you don't judge a book by its cover. Oh, let me quit crying. Oh Lord. <laughs> I was not expecting that. But that's why the universe has always watched over you and protected you. Because you never projected on people. Even when you wanted to, you couldn't because that was not in your nature. It wasn't in your nature. And you were always guided. You were always guided. You were always led, Divine Feminine. And I can't believe I'm crying right now. But it's, it's, it's tears of joy. But I also feel the sadness. You deserve this. Okay? At the bottom of the deck, trust and thrive. Stag. It's, yeah. You trusted in the universe. And by you obeying and being obedient and making the sacrifices even when you didn't want to, that's why the universe is getting ready to help you thrive, okay? I'm talking about succeed, success, triumph, winning the battles that were sent your way to cause you more hurt and pain, okay? Be graceful in movement and act uh, in action. Uh, Shalom, master. So, like I said, you guys were always, you know, obedient. You guys were cautious, and you all, you all, you guys all, you kept it graceful and poised. Like I said, you didn't project. You handled it well. Like I said, be graceful in movement and action. You guys, people misjudged you because you, the way you wore your pain. You know, you, you look how this woman is smiling. Don't nobody know behind that smile is a whole heap of pain and trauma and hurt and betrayal. But because you wore your pain well, people came against you. It was a jealousy. It was envy because you were respected. You were independent. Whatever you set out to do, you got it done. Despite where you were in life, some of y'all really got it out the mud, like the 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 mud. You hear me? So people judged you. They were jealous and envious, but you always were graceful. You kept it poised. You were graceful in movement and in action. You 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 actually thought about what it is you were going to do. Before you did it, you thought out the consequences and they, and what 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 consequence would this bring up on me and stagnate me? See, you thought on a whole different level. See, everybody that I'm talking about that misjudged you because you wore your pain well, they were more so 3D thinkers. You were on a whole different level. Like I said, you thought about universal divine consequences what what kind of karma am i gonna bring into my life on a spiritual level so nobody yeah of course they're not going to understand you okay period yeah stand your ground and what you do you stood you stood steadfast you didn't let anybody intimidate you with that nine of pentacles there you stayed grounded and you did what you were supposed to do period White witch, be the light. You steady, you were the light. You were the, the, the direction. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And you were a warrior. Be, feel, be fearless and stand strong. So nobody, listen, nobody could take you. Nobody knew how to take you. Shapeshifter, transform and unveil your gifts. Like I said, nobody knew how to take you because you adapted so well. When they threw one arrow or dart at you, baby, you on your matrix like people didn't understand how you was able to move how you move and even if it did hit you a little bit it didn't affect you in a major way 
So it's like, who is she? You know what I'm saying? Who is the, this divine feminine? Who does she think she is? Not knowing. You're the chosen one. You're, you're one of the favorites. So, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no more. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave it there. I hope this helped my divine feminines out there. Okay, continue to stay grounded, continue to go up. Okay, because baby, when I say you blessed and highly favored, that's not even the tip of the iceberg, baby. Like, divine feminine, you really that. And I'm proud of you. And I'm happy for you. And I want you to continue to go higher. Okay, challenge yourself to do better and do more. Okay. Don't get too complacent, okay? Because you got work to do. And you're chosen for this work. So, do what you're doing, you know? But give thanks in the process. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, I'm Moon Goddess 2211. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, um, drop the description box down below. All the information that is there for your leisure. Um, like the video. Thumbs up the video for your girl, man. Like these videos so it can circulate more and get out and help those that, that may need it. You know, even if this ain't your message. But I'm look, look I, I'm claiming this message. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know about nobody else, but I love, I love God. Rob been with me and, and assisting me, and I've gotten the, the spiritual guidance from you know my my ancestors and uh, everybody else. You know, so I, you know, I can't help but be obedient to what He tells me to do. So yeah. All right, guys, I love you. Mwah. Namaste.